Alright, good day and welcome. Topic 5, trigonometry in learning exercise 4.1 or the first unit. We'll be looking at how we define trig ratios, specifically sine, cos and 10. It's elementary. So, it comes to trig or trigonometry ratios, first starting with the concept of working on a right angle triangle, where the AB is a vertical line, so it represents Y. BC is a horizontal line, it represents X. And AC, the angle, or the side, always opposite the 90 degrees, being my longer side. Grade 8 and 9, you've done this as hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. So trigonometry, we basically use to find either the length of the side or the size of an angle. <coughs> no apologies. So, sine theta, if I make that angle theta, then you work as a reference is theta. So if I say sine theta, that is y over r. So that is sine theta. Cos theta would be x over r and tan theta would be y over x. <coughs> Alright. Proper name, the reason why I say sine and not sin, that's the proper spelling of it, sine theta equal y over r. Cos is actually cosine theta, which is x over r, and tan is actually tangent theta equal y over x. So how do we ask this? Give you a right angle triangle and we ask you to define what is sine. In this case they say sine C, so we're using C as a reference point. Cos C, tan C. Right? So, we had to define sine C. Sine C is Y over R. My Y value is 5. My R value is 30. So sine C equal 5 over 30. Cos C would be adjacent over hypotenuse or x over r. So that is 12 over 13. 10 C is y over x. So my y value is 5 and my x value is 12. So they have defined the trig ratios according to triangle ABC. And because it said sine C, I use sine or use C as a reference angle, y over r, etc. I hope you follow, you understand. You will see later on how we're going to use this. Now just to show you how we define. Right, continue practicing, stay with me. So you go on, the lesson will become more interesting and you will learn a lot. All the best, God bless.